All right, it's May, which means we're super close to the end of the year and I'm starting to pack up my room. So I wanted to just really quick show you how I have been organized, like trying to pack up in an organized way because well, I like being organized. So um, I'm gonna show you real quick what I'm doing. I'm starting with my cabinets because it's the end of the year. I know what my kids are gonna do. The minute I start taking stuff off the wall, it's gonna go crazy in here. So I'm starting with my cabinets, cleaning them out so it's not like really changing the classroom. Um, and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. So far, I started by getting three bins, and in each bin, I'm putting, this is stuff I wanna take home and like use at home. This is stuff I wanna sell, and this is stuff that is just, it really doesn't matter. Um, I'm just gonna give it away. So I'm going through my cabinets and organizing things in each of the different buckets. Then the other thing I'm doing is I'm starting to actually organize my cabinets. Um, so I, like I said, I've been taking everything out and kind of moving stuff around. So I'll kind of show you what um, I've got going on here. So I put sticky notes. This one says um, like this topper is done, basically meaning it's cleaned off, um, except for those two things that are gonna go home. And everything on this side of the cabinet is stuff that I'm taking home or I'm planning on selling. So that way I know that everything over there is taken care of. And then everything over here is stuff I either still need to use or that I need to take care of. So these are buckets I need to get rid of. This, I combined all of my materials um, onto one shelf. It's not super organized, but that's okay. All my materials are right there. Um, and then the rest of this is stuff I need to go through or take care of before uh, I can be done. I'm putting sticky notes on everything. Um, just for my peace of mind. So I cleaned out this cabinet. You can see I labeled it empty and empty. Both of those shelves are empty. Everything's off of them. And then down here, I just have um, some things that are normally in this cabinet, but I just compiled them into one shelf so that everything's uh, easy for me to grab and I know that the top is empty. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to show you, this door, <laughs> doesn't stay still. The last thing I wanted to show you is if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that I have always said to have a cabinet of stuff that is yours, like it's yours to use, but it's not yours to take with you. So all of this stuff right here is stuff that was either left in this classroom when I got into it, or um, I had in my other classroom with me that I moved over to this classroom. This is stuff that is mine to use, but it's not mine to take with me. So it's all in here. So what's nice about this is now that I'm packing up because I'm leaving my school, now that I'm packing up, I'm not, I don't even have to touch this cabinet and everything from the other cabinets that I don't want to take with me, or not that I don't want to take, but that's not mine to take, I just chunk in here. I may organize it a little bit more, but I probably honestly won't. There's a lot to do, but this is just an organized way. Like that's why I'm so big on having a cabinet for all your stuff at the school. So that way, like now I don't even have to mess with it, which makes it really nice. All right. So there's still obviously a ton to do. You can look behind me and you can see that like, my classroom is still completely um, set up and everything's on the wall. I haven't taken anything down. I probably will not do that till middle of next week. So it's Wednesday today and uh, we still have 10 days. I probably will not do it till the end of next week because I just don't want to lose my kids. I want to try and maintain some sort of normalcy uh, for as long as possible. But I'm still going through like cleaning out my library books and just anything that I can do to clean out and get rid of and purge, I'm trying to do right now while the kids are working on it. Projects. And then last week I had my kids help me take stuff off the wall and um, you know, start, start sending their stuff home. So that's how I'm packing my classroom in an organized way. First time I've ever had to pack my classroom to leave. So it's a learning process, but that's what I'm doing and I hope